Hello friends, in the previous video, we have seen the concept of function. Let's try implementing the same cake example in this video, right? So first is, I have to define function, right? Then I have to invoke the function. There are two important things, right? Number one, I have to define the function. Say, let me call that as functions. In this video, we will be discussing about functions. First one is, Define the function. The second one is invoking the function. Then passing the arguments. These are the three important things that we will be seeing in this video. Right. So in order to define, first step is define the function. Okay, how do I define it? So, I have to use a keyword DEF which says define, right? So, what am I trying to define? I'm trying to define a function. Right? So, let me call it as same thing, k underscore baker, right? So, I'll put up brackets and say how we had put for while loop, for loop, right? We'll put a column and I when I press enter, you can see some kind of an indentation, right? So, or a space or a cap space, right? So, this indentation indicates that. So, I'm trying to define what should be there in the function. Say, suppose I don't have anything into the function, I can just directly use pass, right? Pass is, uh, it is not going to do any function, it is just going to enter into the function and come out of it, right? So, let me, instead of pass, let me print something. Print, I'll say, I am ready to be. ready to bake the cake right so now i have defined the function second one is i have to invoke the function invoke means i have to call now the main person the main bakery person has to now call this baker right how do i do that i'll just take that name cake underscore baker i'll put com i mean i will put brackets right so let me execute this so this is invoking function, right? This is invoking the function. The cake baker is being called. Okay, whenever I have an order, I'll call this person, right? So it goes into this and it prints like I'm ready to bake the cake, right? So this is a simple function implementation. Now, there might be a say when I call that person, he's ready to bake the cake, but he wants some kind of information that has to be passed, right? What is that information? He should know like what should be the, now uh, how many pieces of cakes, then what should be the flavor, then size, right? So within this brackets, if I pass some uh, arguments, right? Say, suppose I'll call it as, say I want uh, five pieces, right? I will put within double quotes, then I will say, I want chocolate flavor. Then I will say, I want 2 kg quantity, right? I want this. So now I'm saying like I, I have so many arguments which I'm trying to pass. The same number should be available in the while defining the function as well. Okay. So here, instead of writing same name, so every time this keeps on changing, Every time this keeps on changing, sometimes it can be uh, six uh, pieces, it can be vanilla flavor, or it can be three kgs, right? So, every time when I'm invoking a function, I can pass different arguments. So, while defining a function, what I do is, I'll keep some dummy variable, okay? So, I'll say like, uh, pieces ke liye P I'll put, then flavor ke liye F I will put, and then size ke liye I'll put yes, right? So now I'm trying to now uh, pass few parameters. So every time this value from the invoking function changes, right, the value of PFS will change, right. So uh, what I will do is now I'll try accepting it and I'll, I'll pass it on to my function, right. How do I do that? Print, say I'll say number of pieces, which is equal to 
I'll put comma and same T. Alright. So next, same way, I will print the flavor. I can put a equal to here so that it looks And this is size. Here I put yes, here I put this. Yes. Now, what did I do is so now I have passed this and then it is going to print. Now let's try executing this. Okay. So first time when I am calling it, so I am saying like now five pieces I require, I require chocolate flavor and I require two kgs. Now what I will do is I will repeat this. Okay. This may be order one. This is order one. So order two may kya hoga? So uh, what I will do is cake baker, same function. I will say 100 pieces I want. I want vanilla flavor and each of 3 kg. I am calling Guru. This was the second order. Right. First order. This was there, 5 pieces, chocolate flavor and second uh, 2 kgs. Second order is 100 pieces with any flavor and 2 kgs. See this, I can call this n number of times. Whenever I get a cake order, I just call him, I will just call this function, right, to get my cake ready. Right. So, this is how I make use of functions. So, in this video, what all we have studied is, so how do we define a function? Then how do I invoke the function and how do I pass the parameters, right? Hope you understood the concept of function and implementation of function. Okay. See you in the next video with the next concept.